Hello, hello Pisces. This is your February 2014th reading, astrology reading. So let's get it started. We are entering Mercury retrograde from February 2nd to the 28th. So what does this mean for you? Okay, now it, um, three water signs are going to be the main focus during this Mercury retrograde. We have Pisces, we have um, Cancer and Scorpio. So the first week, it's like a, the Pisces um, energy. So what we want to be mindful is that this is happening in your first house, and your first house is all about your your self perception of self. So not allow yourself to feel any kind of um, negative feelings about self, and knowing that you're ruled by your twelfth house and you're ruled by the planet Neptune. With Neptune, you want to use your imagination to kind of overcome any barriers you feel that might be happening in February. And with your 12th house being ruled by your 12th house, you want to make sure that um, you're not perceiving someone as maybe not your friend, an enemy, or um, feel like there's some kind of secret, something that you're not aware of. And, and if that's the case, then um, you know this is a great time to pull back and just to, just to relax and to um, allow yourself to just kind of be a fly on the wall, if you will, and just observe and know that by March 1st would be a great time for you to make any, any more changes that you need to make. So before um, the start of February, you might have already made changes already. I feel like this year has like a lot of drastic changes for everyone. And as a water sign, um, you're known for um, living a pretty exciting life, but might, some of you guys might not seem to be that excited type, but you really are. Okay, so with the, the North Node and the South Node, so the North Node is um, your higher self where you want to go. The South Node is kind of the lower energy, so lower personalities, characteristics, all of that stuff. The North Node is moving towards Libra, so this is offering everyone a, 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 an, an energy of feeling more balanced, okay? And with the South Node, you have Aries, so the positive aspect of this lower vibration with the South Node and it being in Aries is Aries have an energy of... Um, getting attention, um, a spotlight, getting getting um, the creativity out there, the uh, a wonderful um, energy of um, fulfilling um, um, goals. So use that energy a little, uh, um, it's a good energy to use a little bit, but remember it's a south node energy, so you want to focus on the Libra, the balance, the um, good communication, the good explanation. So with being in uh, Mercury retrograde, really tap into that that air, that Libra balance, balancing of the scales. Really, um, I think for everyone that I've been saying in this video, the feeling that I'm personally getting is uh, three ways of communicating, and within the first one is two ways if one is not available, face-to-face -face or telephone, and then back it up with an email and back it up with a text. So you want to have really good communication, and usually Mercury retrograde, you can look into yourself, or if you are used to watching these type of videos, you know it's not a great time to make agreements. So let's look at love. Everyone cares about love. So for the career, we already said, you know, not a lot of changes. If they, if they happen, you know, just kind of go with go with the flow, um, be more relaxed. With love, Venus is in retrograde, but it's going in, it's going direct. So with with um, Venus going direct by January thirty first, love will feel more like okay, love is happening. It's going on. It's you're more receptive to it as love is always around no matter what but it's our perception and, and maybe what's going on in our lives that we just feel like we can't add it in at the moment okay but now you're going to be more open to love and the love energy that that will be coming in is one that um will last a little bit longer or if you're already in a relationship you'll be doing more things together as the end of the year starting of the year you are still trying to get important things done whatever they were to you now, the new moon happening on the 30th of January is in Aquarius, which is a air sign, um, and also known as the water bearer. They carry the picture of water, right? So with this energy is creativity, okay? The, the good aspect is the creativity, and as an air sign, they're very good at communicating. So you want to tap into that energy, all right? So a good thing to do is meditate around that time. If there's anywhere where you are, we can go meditate. You know, this is it, meditate at home, or um, any kind of events you can partake in that that will kind of raise your vibration. Now, 
full moon in Leo is happening on Valentine's Day, all right? Leos are known for longevity. They can stay in the game and they, they've just got that energy. They're like the leader, um, if you will, or the for the fire signs, they're the ones that, they're, they're a real powerful fire sign, okay? So, uh, and I'll do another video, it's gonna go off, and I'll just say that for another video. But um, the, the Leo energy that you wanna tap into is the longevity. Um, you want to know that Leos are very passionate, so that passion energy for Valentine's Day is perfect. Um, so whether it's if you're depends on what energy you want is it is it work related or is it love related so all these full moons and so on happening is great now what I didn't mention is on January 30th it's the second super moon okay but it's in the new moon so the first one happened in Capricorn Jan in January of this year uh, January 1st so this second super moon is definitely a great time maybe you can gather some of your uh, spiritual friends and have something at home, a meditation uh, for, for um, uh, you know, prosperity, good communication, whatever it is you feel that you need to draw in that, that air element of uh, communicating. Let's see, what else do I want to mention? I think that is it. With your career, just do the best you can this year. I think that's my major note for you. Um, see, for you to just see things a little bit more clearly, have more time for love, um, just making more time for love, and, and the love aspect for you, Pisces, will be better love relationship, okay? So I hope this helped all you wonderful Pisces out there. Don't forget to connect with me online on my website. Um, definitely message me on Facebook. It's way better to get in touch with me there. You can always email me for your own personal reading. So um, I want to pull a card for you for your astrology reading. So we have five of swords. And what this is saying is that sometimes you might lose um, in a battle, but um, I feel like this is saying for you the lessons you learned through the hardship of last year is what I'm feeling for this one and how you can transition in, and transcend into the new year, um, a more positive outlook. And, um, and I, I really, just looking at this picture, um, you know, you, you, it's like you win some, you lose some, but sometimes when you lose things, you can um, learn from it. And if you feel like you've overcome something, Pisces, then that's great. L um, learn the lesson so you don't repeat it again. But um, as far as um, the, the, new, the new moon um, happening on January 30th, if you live by water, definitely go, go out by the water, sit there, look at it. Meditation could not just be words and, and chants, but also just looking at... At the horizon looking at the ocean and seeing um, higher tides than usual and and just taking that in i i hope this helps and um have a wonderful february thank you guys so much